basement, no. right? <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, admit, I'm gonna give you the stereotype yeah, yeah, yeah. and you tell me why it's wrong. Lives in mom's basement, does everything for free and has no money, yeah. doesn't have social skills, yeah. right? Uh, it's hard to advertise to. Yeah. Why is that wrong? Well, so, so in our surveys uh, of, of, of developers, people that actually use the software, we, uh, create the software, what yeah. we found is uh, the average person is, a, is an IT professional. So they, they're working at a firm. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, about 75% are IT professionals. About 25% are students or so. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know, average age of about 32 with about 10 to 12 years of programming experience behind themselves. Uh, so it's a very strong demographic. Right about them living with their mom. Uh, they might <laughs> yeah. be still living with their mom. So, uh, although, uh, although, you know, we're just, we're just rerunning our survey with Torchforge, and uh, it, a lot of people are actually married now. So yeah, there's, good. There's, there's, you know, progress. Yeah. Maybe not living with their moms anymore. But, it used uh, to be predominantly single now, yeah. Uh, it's about, we see it's about 50-50 at yeah, least uh, yeah. we do our surveys. Uh, and um, so they're experienced IT professionals uh, who, are, who, are, who have, who are, uh, there's two types. They're either in very challenging jobs, um, where they're they're on the leading edge of technology development and they're using a lot of these open source tools in their mm -hmm. in their work, right? Or um, they are uh, board talented board engineers right. working in really crappy jobs and they want an outlet and open mm -hmm. source becomes outlet. So I would not underestimate the power of boredom. Yes. <laughs> there are, you know, I mean, when I look at motivation stuff, when I you know, when you, I always ask people, when you do a real rock star, so what's your, what do you do? And I'm like, yeah, I've got the database management job. There. <laughs> Just the spare cycles, the you know, what, what, what the scientists call cognitive surplus. Yeah. You know, how many of us are completely tapped out by our job? You know, that's it. That's it. That's all I got to offer the world. I mean, all of us have something extra. And some of us are, you know, feel not as intellectually stimulated by our day job as, as perhaps our, 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 our hobby, if you will. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the whole kind of avocation, vocation uh, divide is, is now in all of the other, other factor is that we did find, surprisingly so, was that 40% uh, of the individuals were being paid to participate. So firms thought it was in their advantage that these people should be contributing the code that they were developing internally to these communities. Uh, and again, this wouldn't make sense. So it wouldn't make sense for a Microsoft, who's a publisher of software, to then, uh, you know, and monetize the software, to then say, oh, make the software available for free. But there's many firms, in fact, most of the software development that happens in the world happens in user firms. Firms write code for whatever reason. And for them, they're not in the uh, software business. They're like, I want to solve a particular problem and move on. So for them, it's, it makes a lot of sense to take that code and make it available for anybody else so that they can improve upon it and that they're not saddled with trying to keep, keep making the changes available. So that was a big, big surprise for us at 40%. And I think the, the at least the preliminary data showed that we we're edging at 50%, 55% mm -hmm. are paid to participate uh, by firms. Interesting.